Hey everybody, it's Shannon Marin here with Marin Marketing Team and EXP Realty and Shannon Marin Personal Real Estate Corporation. It's What's Happening Wednesday. Um, we're going to get started with that. We're going to talk about dream wishes for uh, buyers, your house hunting checklist. So um, before that, I just wanted to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. Hope you had a great, great weekend. It was a beautiful weekend on Vancouver Island and uh, so I hope you had a great one uh, if you haven't seen it already pop on over to YouTube or to some of our other platforms and view our Mother's Day video uh, it was really fun to make and I interviewed a whole bunch of great mothers um, so anyways yeah just wanted to talk to the buyers about getting ready to uh, purchase your home whether it's your first home a second or third it doesn't matter um, there's certain things that you really need to keep in mind uh, when you're going when you're going out there to house hunt uh, on Vancouver Island Campbell River especially we are still in a very uh, limited inventory that we're working with here so you know you go to the bank and you they tell you that you're pre-approved for this much and you think oh this is going to be great I'm going to go out there and I'm going to look at a dozen homes and be able to pick the one that I want um, really not the case uh, right now I'm going out with buyers and uh, there might be one, two, maybe three of what they're looking for to pick from. So um, it really does help if you know exactly what it is that you're looking for. And the best way to do that is go through a house hunting checklist. I can provide you with, uh, with a copy of ours. Um, and uh, just go through each and every item uh, in the home, things that are important to you and uh, list them all out write them all down you can have you know your ideas swirling around in your head but it really helps to write them all down um things you want to think about you want to think about you know first off how you want to live in the home um do you want a single family home all, all on one level because you have somebody in the family with mobility issues or um you're you're older and you're thinking about downsizing or maybe it's because you're just starting out you don't need anything that big um and there's also uh you know later on when you do have some kids uh some teenagers you might think about uh moving into a basement home because you need that extra room uh for the kids to hang out and make noise and do whatever they want there so um really have to think about how you're going to live in the home and what kind of space you need how many bedrooms how many bathrooms uh, what kind of square footage you need and um, if you're not really sure about that you'll get the feel of the square footage once you're out uh, viewing a few properties on the exterior what kind of features do you need do you need a covered patio uh, do you need room for the hot tub do you need a garden do you, does the home uh, you'll need the right sun exposure for your garden um, all of those kinds of things are really important too interior features you can go on and on about that but some things you want to consider mostly um, are are the kitchen and the bathrooms um, you know those are where you see the most upgrades um, but don't worry too much if um, if you can't afford a, a home right now um, with beautiful granite countertops and high-end appliances um, you know kitchens can be upgraded at a later time so you have to think about you know is that within your budget right now to have those granite countertops um, you know lots of things can be changed down the road when you can afford to do so flooring uh you know hardwood floors are gorgeous but if you do have kids and dogs uh you might want to think about some vinyl plank or some some laminate something that's a little bit more durable and isn't going to scratch up and mark up uh, when the family's running around through the house so um heating you know are you uh are you a big wood stove fan um are you dedicated to having a heat pump or or is gas the way to go for you um right now i would say gas because it's so cheap but um 
And a big, big one that you can't change in the house is the location. So, um, you know, if there's a reason where you need to be, you need to have your kids in a certain school or uh, you need to be within walking distance to work or something like that, that's something that you can't change. So that might be a deal breaker for you, uh, but that's something that you have to decide. And that's something that you have to think about. So um, your outside space. Do you need privacy? Are you looking for something semi-rural or are you happy in a subdivision? Uh, that's a very personal choice and something that you have to figure out too. Um, and, uh, you know, just depending on your, on your needs, um, you know, that's something you'll figure, it, figure out as we go. Um, you know, shop space and parking is a big thing. Um, you know, most couples have a vehicle each. If you have a teenager, you could end up with a third vehicle in the driveway. Um, uh, here on the West Coast, we have toys, we have motorcycles, and we have side-by-sides and trailers and, and all that kind of stuff. So if that's what you're into, make sure that the parking is sufficient. Create your list. And, uh, you know, as I said, the inventory is very limited. Um, most likely, everything on your list at home with everything on your list uh, doesn't exist. You know, so you're going to have to figure out uh, which items are the most important to you and the deal breakers, the, the items that you can't live without. And uh, then you're going to have to sacrifice some other items. So, just be prepared for that. That's all it's about today. Uh, you know, don't go out there and get dis disappointed because you can't have everything you want uh, right now. You might get into a fixer effort that you is in that perfect location with the right amount of parking. Um, you can uh, put in your gourmet kitchen later or something like that. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions about the real estate market on Vancouver Island, please do give me a call at 250-202-0160. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. If you are on YouTube, please do subscribe or give us a like on Facebook. Um, we really, really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.